Oh, a very big earthquake. It's a very, very, very big earthquake. But there's definitely real stuff that goes on. There's something there in the wild. It's a reflection of me. We need to believe in keep in Family. Jungle magic. It's a feeling that you need to experience for yourself when you visit us one day here at Ubi. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. This episode is a little bit of an update video. We're hoping that this gives you a little bit of an insight into what real life is like here as well, just the day to day stuff. This here, is, here we are on the welcome jetty. This is the beautiful place that we live. Okay, so we're just back from a big trip away. We have three episodes that we've just put up uh, about that trip. We'll and link them. We'll they're link just them above jam packed. Yeah, jam packed full of spear fishing, free diving, some cultural stuff, and just hanging out, having a good time. Uh, we got back and poor little Philly had a really bad ear infection. So we are a few days back from our trip to Piava and settling back into life. Um, just before dinner time, the day that we arrived back, we were sort of rushing around trying to figure out what medications we had to treat an outer ear infection, just otitis externa. That was pretty stressful. We didn't have the first choice that we wanted. I was. And then what did you let daddy do without crying? What did daddy do afterwards? No, what did we do? Torch. Yeah, did you let me use the torch? Yeah. And did you get upset? Yes. Are you no you didn't. Are you a big brave girl? No. Yes you are. And are you all better? We also came home with head lice, which isn't surprising. Uh, we were mixing with lots of kids in the village and it's pretty common everywhere. So it's been a pretty big mess here just with the skinks have taken over the house. I don't know what's going on with skinks and geckos at the moment, but I think they believe that they own this joint and they're making a massive mess. In the nappy bag, one of Philly's cloth nappies was left over on the deck over there in the sun for three days. I vacuumed up a wet skink poo, which was disgusting, and now my Dyson is full of disgusting, stinky skink diarrhea. Not really sure how I'm, gonna, how I'm gonna deal with that. You know, this is the real life stuff that's kind of maybe people don't realize happens when you live an idyllic lifestyle <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> also seem to have the village flu <coughs> but there's definitely real stuff that goes on it's also um that time of year where we have lots of stingers so yeah. arlo got absolutely <laughs> nailed by stingers when, when we we're away and um yeah he's still recovering actually but there's jellyfish everywhere here now too so yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we had the vaccine rollout start happening yeah. in our area, which is amazing. Because we live in such a crazy remote area, it's just really, really encouraging to see um, the, the COVID teams coming out and rolling out the vaccines to such a remote population. Okay, so today we're, we are going to be heading over to a village to get our COVID vaccine, hopefully. We've had a few false starts over the last couple of days. Currently, they have small teams touring the lagoons and trying to capture the population that way. Because we're a small island here, we're not really, a, we're not a village and there's very few of us here. We have to go and seek out one of those clinics where they're doing the vaccine. Come on, style one here. In the village to get a jab. Do, 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 do. So, Mifala just taken a uh, vaccine to Mifala. No, I'm in Nari. Thank you, Nalo Gaman. We have saved some of the small community to Mifala. How are you? You take now? Yeah. Happy for taking now? But I'm good now, I'm taking now. No good, no good, I'm then take. Kerry also got his. He's normally down at Landora. How Kerry him nicely? Why now you decide to take him? Sweet. Right. Keep him community, believe me. Keep him uh, community, family. Nice, nice. For sure. Good one. Come here. So this time, solo him COVID free, me for like him for COVID free for Ivana. Yeah. We look great. Yeah, because you mean like go back to your normal life, yeah? Mm hmm. 
before COVID him come kasi me me lo nari nari. What are you? What are you doing? You need a cracker. Oh, there's a rooster. Bye bye. Leona. Leona. <laughs> Leona Via. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Lena. Hello. That was easy, man. That was super easy. Like Aside from the rain. Oh, everyone good? Everyone happy? Yeah. Back in Nila. Back in COVID. Be smart, be safe, yeah? Be safe. <laughs> We took them some cake, which was <laughs> not super healthy, but I think you know those guys are working so hard, so it was nice for us to be able to do something fine for them. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, and we're due for our next shot in December. That's all. That's all. Cool. Move locations. Okay, we relocated. Hot. That was way too hot. So we also had some friends come to visit, which was really really cool. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a very big oh, earthquake. No, that's a Kibachi, very I big earthquake. That's a very, all right, wow. I'm just gonna go for Philly because Mary's gonna be packing it. Whoa, that was cool. She's in Kiev. Okay. Are you fine on you? Woohoo, <laughs> feeling that again, that was awesome. Whoa, that was a very big earthquake. That was a very, very, very big earthquake. So remember a few episodes ago we were diving a remote island situated just 45 kilometers from a submarine volcano that was rumbling away? Well, the epicenter of this 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake was about 25 kilometers from there and approximately 80 kilometers from us here on Upi. That's going to be like a seven, I reckon. Woo! I wish we had a catch with that 10 seconds earlier. I had my phone out, but that was a... Almost knock you on your ass. Man, you got a few limp too? That was a big one. Him fall down. And break. sitting here because we're all just getting to our jobs for the afternoon and suddenly the whole world started shaking madly. I was at the main house with Kemal here, not Kemal, with Bobby, <laughs> and everything was going shaking wildly. I think people were almost falling over, buildings were almost falling over, we had a really big strong earthquake. So why are we up here? Well, we thought there might be a tsunami, so we rushed up here, but we found out that the uh, site was only about 45 miles away, so a tsunami would get here in just minutes if there was actually a tsunami. But looking out over the ocean, seeing if there's a rideable wave coming our way or not. <laughs> allowed us to switch off for a few days and we went away for a nice little picnic have different conversations with other adults <laughs> <laughs> and we also scored a beautiful experience with the mantas which we're gonna uh, show you guys
we also went on a really beautiful trip to with Miri and the kids the other day. Obviously what you guys get to see on our YouTube channel and all the big adventures that we take is all the really fun stuff and behind the scenes there's a lot still going on here at the island and quite a few people have asked us now for another update on the building progress um, because we're currently rebuilding um, some bungalows here at the resort so we thought we'd take you down for a walk and show you a little bit of progress that's gone on there. So this just yeah. shows you what's been going on behind the scenes. A bit more downtime at the moment, yeah. kinda. We're super busy just with other things going on, but um, yeah, the less, the, adventures. the less crazy adventurous stuff and more just normal life stuff for us, so let's go. <sighs> This beautiful magical pathway in the jungle is lit up by fireflies at night because we came up the right. other night. What? Oh. You'll find out next week. You'll find out next week. <laughs> but it week. is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Our magnificent new steps and have not gone in yet. Um, but yeah, here we are. So things I can't are. I don't remember where we were up to. I have no idea to be perfectly honest. I think we were sheeting. Anyway. This is the first. status quo of the cabin. This is the first of the cabins, but they're all pretty much at the same place right now anyway. Biggest change uh, in the last week or so is these beautiful shores. So we managed to get our glass from the capital and install our beautiful, glorious hardwood doors. <laughs> uh, and they just like set up this last little bit of the front of the house here because we just really want to maximize the views and if you come inside even though the doors are not clean because we've been installing glass and polishing glass you can just see the colors are just phenomenal so the front of the house yeah so the, the view off the front of the house here is just amazing and we will hopefully take that scaffolding down actually it's gonna come down it can come Today down or tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and then we should film some more but yeah. Um, yeah, these bungalows are looking incredible and at the moment we've only got a couple of boys here, so two or three boys at a time, um, just working on little projects, little finishing projects that they can do with less supervision. So um, it's been slow going, but it's all slowly happening, which is cool. A little yeah. bit of a walkthrough. So the cabins are all painted, plastered, sorry, sheeted, plastered. The cabins are all sheeted, painted, Sheeted, plastered and painted. Um, we've got a little bit of trim painting. We have the floors down. We just need to actually do the final sanding and seal the floors and then put in our skirting boards. And then all this is done. And 
then basically we just got a little bit of work in the bathroom and we've got the furniture fit out to go and the electrical fit out. But, um, yeah, so this is the main room, we've got a bedroom over here, little table and chairs goes at the front here, a uh, little kitchenette in here and the desk. And this is really designed just to be this magical clean space all the time. So everything that you bring on holiday with you has a purpose built little spot. And that's out the back here. We like, we like to think that we've thought of everything, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so you've got wardrobe space in here, some closet space for the laundry staff, and then another desk, which is specifically for our underwater photo or our photographers who need charging banks and space to do all their camera gear. And then we have our big, massive, magnificent bathroom. So the up floor for this has got to go in in the next day or so. And then that is all finished and closed, sealed off and then just waiting to be tiled. And yeah, we have these beautiful water ceiling windows that open the back of the house up to the rainforest. So we've got lagoons on one, lagoon views on one side and beautiful rainforest on the other side. It's quite amazing. We're really excited to see these bathrooms come to life because they're gonna have tiles in them, which is another slight delaying factor at the moment is in order to complete these bungalows, we need to get a tiler here. So that can't happen just yet. But to be confirmed. <laughs> to be confirmed. One of the things we've tried really hard to achieve with the new bungalows is a little more privacy for our guests. So bungalows are a good distance apart, but we've actually planted out sort of dividing gardens, which are looking a bit messy at the moment, but that's for a reason so that we can sort of tidy them up and, and have actual boundaries between the bungalows. Each bungalow has its own lime tree so that you have access to lime leaf to make tea as well as fresh limes for your afternoon beverage. And yeah, it's all the landscaping has been really thought out so that you get that really private feel, but also everyone's connected to the beach, which is really awesome. Plus the leaf house. Yeah, so we're also including with each bungalow, there'll be like a little gazebo with a leaf roof, and that'll be a spot for the hammock, as well as a little coffee table, a place to read your book and chill out and catch a bit of a breeze, which would be nice. This is the bungalow, um, the furthest into the jungle, and it's just, it's absolute magic down here. I don't know, it's hard to tell if you can, see enough of it on camera, but... I don't think you can. <laughs> yeah, there's the bungalow here, and then it's just jungle magic. Jungle magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a feeling that you need to experience for yourself when you visit us one day here at Oopie. <laughs> it's the jungle magic. Jungle magic. So we hope you enjoyed the app, guys. Uh, that's just that's what it's been like for the last couple of weeks. This is real life on a deserted tropical island, pretty much. Yeah. And yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe if you want to follow along and be a part of our island tribe. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to know when our apps pop up. And yeah, we're pretty excited about next week. There's a very cool app coming next week. We've had something um, a little bit under wraps, and next week you're going to find out. So make sure you join us then and come and say hi on Instagram. If you don't follow us over there, I'll put our handle down below. And yeah, thanks as always for watching. Have a great week, guys. See you guys. Bye. Put my sunnies up. Sorry, mum, I've had my sunnies on. Oh no. Um, I actually have really bad blepharitis which is good at the moment, but you've probably seen in a few episodes, <laughs> don't want to my see old red blepharitis. eyes. <laughs> anyway, my <laughs> eyes are fine. Yeah, so I guess we also wanted to mention in this episode that in the lead up to Christmas, we've been feeling, you know, all those emotions again about being far away from my mom and our other family and friends who we care about dearly and we, we still haven't been able to see. We obviously, we had our trip planned in August, which got postponed and now it's been canceled until we know more information. But at least now we feel like things are moving in the right direction. We've had our first vaccine and the Solomons as a country is moving forward in terms of vaccinating the population. So although we won't be together for Christmas, we're finding ways to make it special and involve our family from afar and <laughs> enjoy this time we've got together with the kids and Jill and Grant and our Solomon family. So yeah, some, it's also a time we've been thinking a lot about other people who 
you know, are possibly in a similar situation who still haven't been able to connect with people they love. You know, we're thinking of you and all those people who've done massive stints in lockdown for the greater good of all of us to keep us all safe. So mm. thank you to you guys in Australia and elsewhere around the world who, who are doing the hard yards. <laughs> we appreciate you. And I know that a lot of people have also mentioned that our videos have come at a good time. They've been a source of entertainment and people can kind of live vicariously through us as we adventure and explore and share our beautiful world with you back home. So we're really glad that we can do that. And it's just inspired us to keep doing it more. So love to you all. My goodness, forest, oh. forest monsters. I gotcha. You, you, gotta... you got me, but I saw your little feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary girl. Also, Mary's going home today. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> Don't go, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go back to your actual family. <laughs> yeah, let's keep walking. Put together apps. No, that's shit. <laughs> Put together apps. I feel weird that you didn't say anything. <laughs> Jump in any time. There's a few apps up uh, previous about that. It's got free diving, spear fishing. A few fishing. apps up previous about that. It doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What's that name to say there? What song? So jump magic! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>